paths had crossed and um, still unfortunately he did come back to India in a coffin. Um, I had to pay my ode and respects and I was happy to come on board. Hi, Omang. Omang. No, wait, just a minute, Randeep had uh, to answer Sorry, bro, this. can you repeat the question? <laughs> <laughs> what preparations? Well, first time I... Uh, I had heard about, I had seen those, all those footage and when, that, uh, when he died, I was aware of what that happened. First time I read about Sarabjit movie being made was uh, when somebody forwarded me an article where Dalbir, the real Dalbir Kaur was saying that she would like me to play the role. And I was like, really? So then I looked up, uh, did more research about him and by the time I met Umang, I knew him very well. And then uh, Umang gave me some letters, some photographs, there was only one video footage. So I went about uh, learning the Punjabi and then we discussed how do we uh, make a difference in his 23 years of his life. So we went about, uh, <clears throat> we decided that okay, let's let him lose weight so that you know, his, uh, his plight comes across even more uh, to the audience. So that took me um, a lot of time and a lot of uh, unhealthy things. So that was one part of it. And then I realized that, you know, uh, what can happen worst in the jail was the tooth decay. So I went to Canada and uh, I went for the Toronto Film Festival. So there I met this guy who makes molds, who makes monsters in Hollywood movies. So I got him to make me a mold and send me three stages of his teeth. Um, and uh, apart from that, you know, I went through the letters. I made his thoughts mine. I made his words mine. I went through... I think I have written many letters which I have not sent to Monk and which I will never send because now I read them and I think they are too personal. Um, I didn't. I used to sit at home and in the chains and you know lie in my bathroom for a long time and write letters to Umang as if he was my sister, but I would address it as Umang. <laughs> Sorry, Umang. If I feel, if, if you love me enough, I'll give you those letters. So I went through the whole journey of 23 years. I tried to go through the whole journey of 23 years of solitude, of the things. You know, the first thing I used, I mean, what, what would a person dream about? What would a person think about lying alone in darkness for so many years? That, as I said earlier, was left to our imagination because that was not documented. So as a person, I thought how to make it real for myself is to try and go through it through the starvation, through the solitude, through darkness. Your mind plays tricks in you, on you when you're in the dark, man. You talk, talk to yourself and all kinds of things happen. So that was, it was a, I think it's one of the most prepared roles of mine. And it took me a few months to get the mindset. And uh, Umang was actually going to shoot the Dabang uh, village portions till he dropped the bomb on me before Diwali and said, Ki, I'm going to shoot this. So I had a very short time to catch up with the weight loss, but um, I did it. And I, somewhere that has instilled in me a sense of belief and a sense of my own willpower, which I think will help me in other parts as well.